Okay, people, I think we got another Brittany Griner update here. Um, and, uh, you know, she did meet with the American politicians, a few American politicians and Russian heads. But I want to talk about Diana Taurasi and her discussion of uh, her teammate. And she said, I'm constantly heartbroken over the situation of Brittany Griner and what she faces and suggested it may give WNBA players second thoughts about playing in Russia. Tarasi spoke to the Arizona Republic about the uncertainty of her longtime teammates return from prison in Russia. Um, and that was Saturday doing uh, a Mesa, Arizona declaration of youth, you know, dedication for a youth basketball court in partnership with the late Kobe and Gianna Bryant's Mamba and Mamba Sita Sports Foundation. The Griner's appeal of the nine-year prison sentence from her drug possession conviction was denied on October 25th. She had been in custody in Russia since February. It's coming up on the year. Uh, we're all heartbroken, she said. Every day, it's, uh, my heart just breaks. Our sole energy is to get her home as soon as possible and as safe as possible. And it's heartbreaking to think that she's stuck in the prison somewhere in Russia, a place where we gave a lot of our energy to and a lot of our effort to make sure that they have the best teams in the world. We wake up every day sad, but with a lot of hope that it's going to be soon, very soon, that they release her. Griner has been deemed wrongfully detained by the U.S. government since her arrest at the Moscow airport on February 17th when she was found with cannabis oil, vape cartridges, and a, at a security checkpoint. Griner was in Russia playing during the WNBA's offseason for Moscow-based UMMC uh, Ekaterinburg of women's basketball team. She has played there since 2014, and the organization had paid her $1 million per year. Griner signed a three-year deal with the Mercury for $664,544 in 2020. That's comprised of $215,000 for 2021, 221450 for 2022. Uh, it is slated that the WNBA minimum, I mean, player maximum is 27900 for next season. Tarasi has also played for the Etter Etter Kadenberg from 2012 to 2017. It's another factor you have to look at when you're thinking about going to play in a different country, for sure. Griner, 31, and Tarasi won the 2014 NBA title together five years after Griner entered the league from Baylor. There are a lot of people that play in markets and never do a thing, Tarasi said. <coughs> BG's done more in Phoenix than most people do in a whole lifetime in the city because that's who BG is. She's a, a carer, a lover, and she brings people together. That's the special attribute that she shares besides being a great basketball player. She's just a loving person, that, and I'm proud to be around. The 10-time All-Star also says she was already preparing to return to the Mercury for next season in an interview with the Arizona's family uh, TV channel, Nick King. You know, I started working out, so the minute I started working out, that means 
I'm all in, she said in that interview. I'm ready to bring another championship here. Tarasi, who is now 40, is an unrestricted free agent entering next year. Asked about her return in August, Tarasi was less clear, saying that she was taking it day by day, week by week. The NBA's all-time leading score has led the Mercury to three titles in 2007, 2009, and 2014. And um, so that's what she had to say about her teammate. And so... We just got to see what happens. We just got to see what happens. You know, also with this, uh, the U.S. Secretary of State issued a statement after Brittany Griner's transfer. Um, and this was, um, you know, she has been transferred to a Russian penal colony in the move. Her lawyers and families have been dreaded. Since the WNBA star was convicted of drug charges in the summer. Oh, boy. Uh, United States Secretary of State Anthony Blinken released a statement on Griner's transfer this morning. And that's what he said. So let me go pull out the information for this and I'll be back in, in another video.